Hey, welcome to t After Tilting, after this week's Tilting with Brushes. Uh, tilting at Brushes. Slime creatures from outer space was our topic tonight, and we have a bunch of cool new tools to bring these guys to life, all within the space of a couple of minutes. As always, my whole brush is used frequently just because it's a quick and easy way to get a solid shape in space. This particular environment, unlike the usual dark environment, actually comes with the moon as part of it, and outer space in the background, as you can see behind us. Makes the perfect setting, so I don't actually have to paint all that stuff. Now, the whole brush has its transparent version, which is how we did the top of these uh, spaceships, whereas the normal hull brush did the main bodies. Fire brush, as seen before, and the light brush all make their usual appearance just because they work so well. In this case, if you remember from uh, the southwest, I had the warpy water in blue. Same effect for my bug-eyed monsters here. They need to be a color so they stand out against space, but I like the effect. It's very easy to get the compound eye of like a bug to go with the evil grin. Evil grin was just done with uh, paper, black paper. Because you can paint with paper, it gives it a nice sharp edge. So I can just paint it right above the face. There we go, I got this guy in the way. But you see what we're talking about. This effect along here, the lasers, there's a tool called Neon Pulse. You can make it any color. I specifically added a straight edge. You can use the same thing. See, with a straight edge, it just makes it a straight line. But you can do the same thing without the straight edge, and that pulse will follow whatever curvy line you make. And has a lovely sound effect. There we go. But that's how we can get all these tools together making the, the, the spaceships. The final item that was really interesting is the selection tool. Because not only can I use it to choose pieces, but I can choose several pieces to deal with as a single object. I can grab it and move it around. I can even change its size, that type of thing. So you can see how I've got a very large flying saucer, or I can shrink it down to be a very tiny flying saucer, depending on what you need at the time. So there's a lot of good tools in here uh, to really help bring one of these things to life. There's no way I could paint that many within the three minutes of the song, so the selection tool helps me duplicate and get a whole fleet of flying saucers, or a brave pair of space shuttles, as the case may be. This is also a great way to see how we can manipulate the environment around us to look at things from all angles. Now in Tilt Brush, I can't rotate this way. I can rotate this way, but as far as, uh, let's say we've got pitch up and down, I cannot do. I can raise and lower, but I cannot lean forward and back or left and right, pitch. Yaw we can do, roll we cannot do. Just bigger and smaller. With a selection tool, we can have one object be the object that gets bigger and smaller, that type of thing. Turn off selection tool. But that was a lot of fun to do today. We have our slime creatures from outer space. We're going to be doing this every week. If you liked, go ahead and do so. Uh, if you want more, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll be bringing you more of this every week. Thank you very much.